Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm just going to be going over my open air mining rig. I finally got it completed. If you've been following the videos in like the parts, I have part one and two up. You can go check them out. They're on my channel there. But it's going to be the final part because we do have the RAM, uh, the DDR4 RAM that we've been waiting for. I'll see if I can kind of get this brightness a little better here. So as you see, we got the RAM stick in right here as of now. I ordered that off Amazon. It took a couple days to come in. I ordered one prior, but it was the wrong like DDR version. So I had to get the DDR4 RAM because I wasn't sure. The motherboard that I am running, I'm just going to try to get the name here again. Uh, sorry for the camera angle, but the name is down here. But anyways, the uh, name is BTC B250C. And that's the motherboard that I do have running. That's this guy here. And that has all of these USB 3.0 ports right on the motherboard so we can run multiple graphics cards instead of using those little riser pieces that uh, just plugs in from underneath here or you can go from a side here and get a better angle as you see the red cable there it plugs in to the riser and that just runs right to the motherboard here instead of having that little SATA chip or whatever PCIe chip that you needed but now we finally got the RAM I've already booted it up and kind of got it set up on like what OS I'm going to use and things like that just so I can make this video I want to make sure it's all running and everything but as we see here we're just going to flick on my power switch that I have because it comes with the power switch but I just flicked it to that and yes my I just have a little bit of LED, uh, RGB lights on it nothing too fancy just having some fun I was like oh I had some spare ones here but as you see we're booting up here and now it's not a top of the line like motherboard or CPU in there. It's just like a dual core. I believe it's like a Pentium or something like that. I could reboot it and go into the like uh, BIOS of it to show you guys. I might do that just for a quick second. So I just went back and rebooted it just so you guys can see here. So there's a model name, the BTC B250, and I'm pretty sure it's a lowercase c after that. And like this I bought off of Amazon, and it ended up, uh, i going to fix the lights here. It ended up coming with um, a CPU as well, so I just put the CPU right in there. Got a little basic Intel heatsink on there. But as you see, there's all the information. It's not the best system in the world, but it's my first ever like actual mining motherboard with an actual build going on. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys that. So we'll quit without saving. And it's just going to boot into my USB that I set up. I am using Minerstat OS. So if you never heard of it, Minerstat is where you can get like the information on coins, the pricing of coins, algorithms, things of the sort. So uh, those Jews up on too, sorry. But yeah, Minerstat is just like a go-to place to find profitability ranges. If you want to see like new coins and things of the sort, there's a whole like mining stat is going to be like your main source for things like that. But I will be showing you like the dashboard and the computer side of it. It's pretty much like Hive OS or even like um, Nice Hash OS. It's all built on Ubuntu here. And then you just run it through a dashboard on your computer. So as we see here, I'm just quickly showing you guys here. This is what the main dashboard looks like. I will be going to like a screen cap form to show you guys like the workers and things like that and how to actually download this to get it set up. But as you see off the USB hop here, it's just getting up to date with the system. If I've added anything like new... GPUs or anything of the sort. So we're just going to let it boot up here and then that way you guys can see this up and running. I am going to be mining to unminable to Litecoin like I was showing in my previous video there on how to mine to unminable. But right now I'm pretty sure I just have Zell hash or Zhash set up to go to nice hash because that's the most profitable right now for my GTX 1063 gigabytes which is what I'm using on this machine here. But once this all gets booted up and it reads, it's a little slow because it's just doing, I'm pretty sure it's a 2.0 port and it's a USB 2.0 anyways. So it's not the fastest reading, but it's just going through and checking everything. And this boot up, like I said, is for a minor stat OS. It could be different depending if you're using a different OS. But I just wanted to kind of try something different. That way I can kind of make a video on it. I'm just kind of doing an overview of it right now just to show you guys what it's like. And like I said, I'll show you on the computer end of things. But as we see now, I can probably hear the fans have booted up. And that's just all at the current default until it boots into 
what I have. It automatically will overclock as well, but you can go into the dashboard and edit all of that, edit your configuration and things of the sort. So I'll kind of show you guys. That's with my LED lights. I feel like it's just kind of cool. It sets the mood. I just have them running on the front side and underneath the front bar there. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Just a little <laughs> addition I just want to show you guys. But as we see here, it's going through and just reading all your GPUs and everything. I got two 1060s, it's just overclocking. And then it just says it's starting minor if you already have one set. And then we'll let it load for a second here, just so I can show you guys. Once it does get to like your typing screen, you just type in minor, and then you'll be able to see what it's mining. So as we see, it has detected both my GTX 1060 3 gigabytes. It tells you the temperature, power wattage, everything like that. But as we see here, what we're going to do is go to Miner. If it's booted up yet, and yes it is. So right now I'm just doing Zhash as we see. I'm using Mini Z. You can set whatever Miner, whatever coin, whatever algorithm from the mining config page on a dashboard. But yeah, that's pretty much the rig running. I'm pretty happy that I was able to get this. Now it's just a matter of eventually upgrading that power supply so I can run more graphics cards and figure out things like that, however that works. That's going to be my next realm of learning, but I'll be taking you guys along on a journey. But yeah, my next one I'll be setting up is a 1654 gigabyte. I uh, don't have the Radon RX 470 anymore. I put that into a build, like a quote-unquote, like just a budget gaming build just to sell, just to make some side money, because I do computer repairs and things like that on the side. But yeah, this will be the next one I set up once I get a better power supply with more GPU capabilities. But as you see, it's up and running here. Then on my dashboard here, I'm just gonna refresh. I will be going into the screen cap mode. Just wanna show you guys, as you see, it shows I have my one worker, one different coin, one active worker, it shows you your wattage, and, your percent efficiency and everything but we'll quickly jump over to this computer now just to show you guys what the minor stat dashboard is all about so if you are interested in using the OS which so far I haven't had any issues with it's been a lot better than a lot of the other ones this one tells you full power consumption how much you're making and things like that even on smaller projects and smaller coins it'll still tell you profitability because it bases it off the algorithm and the coin price but yeah just before we do that like we said here's just one last look I have my boxes over there now, I've kind of been organizing my mining room a little bit more. But that's the final outcome of my mining rig build. I just want to quickly give you guys like a quick oversight of Minerstat OS there and just it running on here. But yeah, as we see, it's nothing too crazy. It's just nice having this open air rig. It's going to keep it nice and cool, nice and, you know, the temperatures down, it not running so hot, not having to have a big computer case up here. And I can add multiple GPUs on this. So it's all going to be a bonus and we'll keep adding to it over time. But now we'll hop over to my computer and take a look at the dashboard. And no, this is not sponsored or endorsed or anything like that. Like it's not paid for in any manner. This is just an OS that I came across. I haven't really tested before. I've tested Hive OS. I've tested NiceHash OS. I've tested a few of them, but never I never knew that Minerstat had their own. So this is kind of just like a video overviewing it and showing you guys what like their end of things looks like in case you want to go ahead and use it and set it up for yourself. All right, so now we're over on my computer here on the dashboard so we can see how this works so I can show you guys. So once you're on Minerstat, I believe it's Minerstat.com. I don't know if it'll keep automatically going to here since I'm locked in, logged in. All right, so you come to Minerstat.com over here and then it might have dashboard or login or sign up here so all you do is click on dashboard and then you sign up and go through the sign up process that's to get your account going and then once you have that done it should bring you to your minor stat dashboard you can change like all the market things and things like that but right here is going to show like your minings and your earnings so as you see what my earnings are and what i'm mining to but over on the left hand side here the main thing we're going to focus on is the workers tab and worker config tab so you go to workers and then here you might not have anything, or if you want to add more, you click add new worker. Or it depends, you might have to pay for an account. So it all varies because like you can run one worker with as many GPUs as you want for free. Or if you want multiple workers, you have to upgrade and pay for an account. I'm just using their free account, which so far I haven't had any limitations to what I need for. 
But right here, you'll click add a new worker, I'll say create a worker, and then you'll choose what graphics cards you have or, and then what operating system you want to use. You want to click on the minor stat OS option and it should allow you to download it. Or we can just go right on Google here and see if we can find just a direct download for it. So yeah, as we see here, you can come over to the mining OS webpage. I'll post all these links in the description. And you can click download msos which is their mining stat operating system and then you can download it so if you have like nvidia you download this one if you have amd you download this one uh, i don't know what you do if you have mixed cards because some people do have mixed card machines but if you are just using like nvidia or amd you can select whichever one direct or torrent download and then it will download and then all you do is put a usb stick in and then you will run a software like uh this one here etcher or you can use um rufus as well and you can use those and open them up and it should detect your usb and then you're going to select the image file that you downloaded from here so the mining stat operating system i can give more specific in-depth tutorial on a separate video i just quickly want to do an overview so that's just a brief explanation on how to do it so you download it and then you just gonna um what's it called mount it to a, U, a usb stick and then once you have that USB stick, you plug it into your computer, and then you should be able to have your worker here. It will tell you step by step on what to do on Minerstat as well, because you have to download your worker config file. But anyways, once you do have it up and running, you're going to see your worker here. So you click worker 001, or whatever you did name it. And then just allow this to load here. And then what you want to do is you'll see here you have like what you're mining so zhash what client all that you're going to have all your temperatures up here your daily earnings your power consumption your power efficiency you can also access everything remotely but it's just nice layout i find like hive os and things are nice but i find minor set just has a clean look to it and it's all just laid out very nicely and i haven't had an issue with it at all and then it's going to tell you your power consumption to hash rate, like how well it's doing and everything. And if you scroll down here, you're going to have your hardware. So to make sure all your cards are detected. And then you can click clock tune, which will allow you to set your power limits and core clocks and everything. Underclock or overclock, whichever you do prefer to do. And down here is going to be your temperature chart. And this is just going to be your main hub of the dashboard. It's going to be underneath your worker. This is at least what I stay on most of the time. So that way we can go ahead and just see what our daily earnings are, our monthly earnings are, etc., etc. So if you want to uh, mine to a specific pool and specific coins, you come over to worker config on the left-hand side. And you want to scroll down on this page. And then you're going to have default client. And this is going to be your mining client. So they have a bunch of different miners on here, as you see. And then all you do is select one. And then you go to simple, which is here, which is on the mini Z. So whichever miner you have, the name will be here. And you just click the simple button. And it's going to give you the algorithms and coin that this miner can mine. And then you just go through and select whichever one. And then whichever pool that you want to mine to, you can go ahead and add a pool, which I will show you right now. Um, just got to find it. It's under addresses, I think, or something like that. Yeah, address editor. So let's open that in a new tab. So once you select your pool here, you're going to add them right here. So right here for pooled colon is going to be like the pool name. So that will go right here. And then right here is going to be the pool URL. And you don't need the stratum plus TCP. You just need the actual mining pool link with the port number. And then all you do afterwards is click add. And then we'll add to your pool list. And if you want to add certain wallets, your wallets will be here. It will tell you right off the hop if you are mining to a donation wallet or anything. So as you see, I've only changed my BTC address and I've added my conceal address. And the other ones I haven't touched yet because mainly I just mine for Bitcoin or I have a few smaller projects that I do mine for. But yeah, that's going to be for your address editor. So for your pool and wallet. So you want to make sure you um, edit and add that in. And then what you do is select whichever pool you are mining to and then whichever wallet and whichever coin you're being paid out to. And then you can put your password for your miner and all you do is click save changes and that will overlay the changes to your um, minor, minor stat OS machine. And then it'll just, you'll hear it kind of tone down for a minute and then it might reboot or re, just restart the process. And then that way it will start mining the new project. And then all you do, like I said, is click save changes and that will do that. I'm just going to discard them because I don't need to change anything right now. 
but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys the basic understanding of this. Hopefully it was like descriptive enough. I'm just kind of doing like an over overview more so right now. I will do an in-depth tutorial on how to set minor stat up if you guys are interested. Just let me know by clicking the like button or telling me in the comments below if you do want an in-depth setup tutorial for minor stat since I do have my mining rig running on it and it seems to be running smoothly. I've been running it for a couple days here and so far everything has worked really well. And like you said, there is right here like the clock tune so it did all this as it booted up on the os and then yeah your worker config and then your workers which is going to be your main hub for everything so i just find it's laid out very nicely and very easy to understand even if you're not in depth in mining and setting up the os as simple as putting it on a usb plugging it into the mining operating like the miner itself so like my mining rig and then it will boot up and pick up you might have to go in your bios and set usb as your main boot but it will boot perfectly fine and then it will just read and automatically set up and start mining for you your dashboard is going to be your main hub and control for it but yeah overall that's pretty well it for today's video like i said i just kind of want to show you guys my full mining rig completed and everything up and running and show you guys what os i'm using and like i said so far no issues everything is running great so i'm glad you guys came along with the journey for me and like building my first open air mining rig with multiple gpus most of the time i've always just done them in like computer cases or some you know bare edge setup but now i've had the capabilities to actually set it up properly so it's kind of nice that way and hopefully we can keep adding to it and add more graphics cards you know check out some more coins along the way and just keep bringing out content like this i just like bringing you guys along with my journey i'm going to stick to obviously doing tutorials and news and stuff but i'm kind of mixing in more videos like this where i just kind of go over things with you guys to show you what i'm doing and keep you up to date and just to, in case you guys decide you want to do something like this or use this os or you know just you do something of the sort that i'm posting as well but yeah, hopefully, you know, this helps someone or if you are deciding on an OS, this helped determine something. You go ahead and check it out for yourself. But that's pretty well all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you guys are enjoying this type of content. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.